Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get instant notification of new videos as they're released. So we are looking here at Cheltenham. And if we look at the favourite here, um, we can see the you know, price has been coming in a little bit. It's, it's been backed a little bit. Um, second favourite's pretty flat. If we look at the favourite on the ladder, you can actually see that um, there's a lot of money has been matched at or around the current price. And you can see um, a number of key factors. You can, you can see there's huge amounts of money waiting to be matched here. But if you look at the column on the right here, you can also see that most of that was uh, you know, matched at the current price or near it and smaller amounts on. So you can see the price has gradually come in. But most of the activity is focused right at the center of the book. Now if you have a look at the second favorite, you can see, curiously, there's an awful lot of money waiting to be matched there as well. And that's out of proportion to something priced at odds of seven, when the favorite's priced at odds on, and that's got the same amount of money. So that's pretty much crushing the activity on the second favorite. And if we look at that in a little bit more depth, um, we can begin to understand what impact that is actually having. So you can see here what I've done is I've put an order in for £256 by clicking and backing at odds of 7. Now the reason that I'm doing that is because I'm not expecting the price to move much. On the favourite over here, you can see that generally it is being backed. There is activity. But on the second favourite, all of the activity is clustered around those three ticks sort of uh, at the centre of the market there uh, that we can see on the ladder. Um, so there's you know, so little movement. Here you can see the price has come down a little bit. Um, we have kept our order in the market because we don't fear that the price will burst through it. And now that the price has ticked back up, we've put in a lay at 6.8 and we're waiting for that to get matched. So the order at 7 is gradually getting nearer and nearer the front of the queue and is about to get filled and we've just popped an order in at 6.8. And the anticipation is that when the order fills at 6.8, which you can see it's just done here, we will get our order matched at 7. Now that hasn't happened. The price has come down. We panicked a little bit there and we went to scratch our order. But look at the amount of money at 6.6. .6. There's nearly £16,000. So it's unlikely to get through that. So I cancel that order, put another one in at 6.8. That is about um, to get filled or should get filled soon. The order at 7 will get filled and we will create our trade. So if you're looking at this and you're sort of thinking, not really sure what you just said there, it, it is a slow market. It gives me the ability to explain to you in a little bit more depth exactly what's going on. Um, but even then, when those moments come to do things, you have to act quickly and decisively. You don't sit there and think about what could happen. You actually make a decision about the process. So you can see we've been matched here at odds of 7. Uh, that has completed our trade for us. We laid at 6.8. We backed at 7. So you can see on the left-hand side column here, it says £51.20. That is how much money we have made from that trade. By laying at 6.8, backing at 7, we've made £51.20. We have two orders in the system now. We've got a back order at 7, a lay order at 6.8. When that fills, there you can see, you can see the lay orders filling there. We need the back order to fill now, which is very likely to happen, because you've seen there's been no movement in this market, so that is almost certainly going to happen. And when that does complete, we will have £102.40 uh, on this particular runner, which instantly is sprint to sacra. So yeah, you may need to rewind the video and go back and look over these elements and just listen to me again to understand what's going on. Uh, but essentially all we're doing here is laying at 6.8 and backing at 7. It's not very complicated. It's quite easy to follow. It's a very simple trade. And the reason that we're doing it on the second favorite here is because there's so little movement. If you watch the video back, you see there is a little bit of movement on the favorite. It's moving up and down. But the reason we chose the second favourite was because there was a lot of money there and that effectively just sort of crushed that movement. And for whatever reason that is happening, we've just nipped on the inside of that and we're profiting from the fact that that sort of crushing of the movement is giving us the ability to put these two orders in by laying at 6.8 and backing at 7. And that's what's going to generate the profitable trade for us. So we're just waiting here for the order to fill at 7. You can see this is how some of these big race meetings work. It's, it's dull, it's boring, but it's profitable. And that's the most important thing. So you can see the money's just running out here at 6.8. Um, and so therefore the, the current price is the touch price that we, that we call it in the market is at 6.6 and 6.8. But there's so little money at 6.8. Can you see the battle that's ensuing at 6.8? 
Um, you know, there are backers, there are layers, people are backing and laying at that particular price. Um, but the net effect is because there's so much money at 6.6, .6, we're totally comfortable with our order at 7. We don't fear that the market's going to suddenly plunge down to 6 because there's so much money there. And this is typically how you would trade um, a large meeting. Uh, you know, there is very little um, movement in the market. Um, and therefore, you can hold positions in the market for as long as you wish. So now that we've completed that trade again, you can see that we have um, £102.40 in total profit. So what do we do at that particular point in time? We do it again. And um, I've put an order in at 7 here, and you can see that that's about to get matched. There we go there. However, because the price was about to move back out, I just put a lay order back in at 7. So we backed at 7, we laid at 7, we ended up with nothing. And you're sort of thinking, why did you do that? Well, we were just being safe there. We weren't sure if that position was going to get filled, so we decided that what we would do is just close it out for zero. Sometimes it makes sense to do that. Could be a mistake on this occasion, but it doesn't matter. It's more important that you don't lose money. So you can see now we've put another order in at 6.8, and we've backed again at 7, and we're just sat here waiting for the orders to get filled. If the market suddenly sprinted away from one of these, we would dump our position as quickly as we could. So you can see from the way I've traded this market that I'm playing it really safe. And at the moment you can see it's pro I mean it's roughly equal on both sides. And, and in fact you can see here that it's got matched equally on both sides. But now can you see the money at 6.8? There's a lot of money there. So probably the next price tick is going to be up. But we're safe. We've got our money. We now have £153.60. We've done it uh, three times. And at this point, if you wanted to, you could actually let this position run into the race. The net position you have in the market is you will win £153.60 if Sprinter Sacra wins, which it did, and you will lose nothing on any of the other runners. Now, typically, what I would recommend is that when you're in this position, you actually hedge your profit, and then you move on to the next market. But you can see I've left this clear at the moment just so that it's simpler to explain and easier to understand. But the net position we've had by laying at 6.8 and backing at 7 three times um, with the amount of money that we've used is that we end up with a free bet effectively on Sprint Sacra. We have generated a profit of £153.60 um, and we cannot lose in this particular market. So there you go. I thought that video would be interesting for you. Um, it gives you a look at how some of these bigger markets trade. Um, but it also shows you that it doesn't have to be complicated. All I'm doing here is trying to squeeze a trade in somewhere in the market where there isn't a great deal of movement. The reason I'm doing that is movement introduces an element of risk. So I've just gone for where there's very little movement and sort of played around in the market at that particular point. And it was a fairly straightforward position and trade to take. But the net result of that is three trades later. Um, we're up £153.60. Uh, that turns into a free bet on Sprinter Sacra. And if we want to, we can hedge that so that we win whoever goes on to win this particular race. But there you go. That's a trade uh, from Cheltenham. And the interesting thing about this is I did this while I was busy trading on other screens as well. So you can see this was almost done in the background. Um, it was a relatively straightforward and uncomplicated. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial.